Hello, this is Chad Smith with BC Givers, and continuing our social media video series, part five, we're going to talk about Facebook integration with Business Catalyst. Now, BC gives us a lot of options and tools when trying to add Facebook integration into your websites. So the first thing we're going to have to do is create an app within Facebook that is going to talk to your Business Catalyst site and kind of integrate them both together. So let's go ahead and go to developers.facebook.com we're going to create a new app get the app ID and app secret and we're going to take those over to our BC test site and add those into the social integration section of our site menu so here we are at developers.facebook.com you can see that I already already signed into Facebook and the first place I want to go is the apps tab here up top now once you hit apps you're going to see your recent apps that you've created and then you're going to have the option to create a new app so for this example I'm going to go create a new app for Facebook and you gotta give it an app name and it'll give you if it's valid or not now this is going to show up when people click or it can show up when people click on your Facebook comments or getting logged into your Facebook or into your sites via Facebook so you might want to make it a a name that corresponds with the site that you're working on because if you use it to log people in to your site to your secure zones then it's going to ask them if they're going to want to accept this app under their Facebook page so naming it something that's concise or makes sense with the website would be preferred. We're not going to worry about the app namespace or the web hosting. We're just going to hit continue. Let's see if I can figure this one out. Submit. Alright, so now my company name app has been created. And right here up at the top we got my app ID and my app secret. So along with adding those things to our social integration we're going to need to get a URL for the BC side so we're going to click on the website with Facebook login and adding it now will just save you from avid having to add it later and then just save it so now this app is prepared for pretty much any Facebook integration on the site so we'll go ahead and copy these numbers over and then in our in our test site here we'll go to site settings and then social integration now from here it was going to want those information that we have currently on this site we'll copy and paste them over and then just hit save and now we are ready to add Facebook integration to our BC site so for this example we're going to add one of probably the more popular Facebook plugins you can add to your site we're going to add the Facebook like button so to get this started we're going to go to fit the Facebook like button grab the code that's given to us and then we're going to add it into the module templates folder within Business Catalyst. So let's go back to Facebook first. So now back on Facebook, go to the, the like button page. And from here, we can set up our like button. So let's go ahead and tell it what URL to like. Don't need a send button. I'm going to go with the button count for this example. No faces and I think the rest looks good. So when you hit the get code button, you're presented with one you're gonna to have to get this JavaScript SDK code and you're gonna to need to select the app that we created earlier in the video so make sure that one is selected and we're gonna copy and paste both of these things both of these code snippets into a folder within Business Catalyst so let's go to Dreamweaver really quick and take a look at that folder so now within Dreamweaver we have our our site definition for our social media test site and in one of the folders that Business Catalyst current or automatically has on their new sites is the module templates folder which if we expand this you can see we have social media is one of our options 
and expand it again, we got our Facebook like page or like button. So for what we're going to do from this point on, you're going to want to recreate for every other Facebook plugin here and the Twitter button, which I will have a different video on, but it's going to be basically the same from this point on. So we've already gone to the page. We set up the plugin the way that we wanted. So now we're going to have to add it to this folder. So if we expand it again, open the default folder, then we have a container HTML file. So when you first open it up, you're going to see that more information on social media modules. Go to the knowledge base page here. But we're going to delete that and we're going to add the code that we got from Facebook. So we will grab snippet number one and snippet number two. Now we don't want our URL currently there because that's not always going to be the page you're going to put the like button on. Instead we're going to add a tag underscore URL. Now we'll just hit control S to save. It uploads back to the site and then we can get out of this container file. Now there's only one thing left to do which is add the module to the page. So we have our app created, we have our social integration fields filled out, and we've gathered all the code needed for our Facebook-like plugin added to our container file within our Facebook-like folder in the module templates. So now we just need to add our Facebook module to the page we want to have the like button on. So if we go back to our test site, so here in our test site, if we go into one of our test blog post items and now this is the details view if we want a like button in here all we got to do is from our back end go to site manager click on module templates the blog module the blog layouts and the blog post details layout now the only problem is to add a module on here it's not going to be within our tag insert and there's no open blog or open module manager from this list view. So we're going to have to go into an actual page, click on the add modules to web page, and then go back into our blog layouts for the details layout. Now we can go to the HTML view, say we want it just after our permalinks we go to our social media tab click on the Facebook like button we don't really need to customize it because we did that when we got the code ourselves we'll just hit insert the one thing we need to add is the URL and that's going to go to tag underscore item URL underscore with host save that now our Facebook module is all set up if we go back to our details page and hit refresh now we have a like button if we click on that we're asked to like this blog post we're going to post it to Facebook and go to my Facebook page and you can see that Chad likes this blog post. So close all that off. Now another option for Facebook like buttons is to have them on the list view. So from this view of our blog we can have them on each and every post just like we had in our details view. To do that, I'm going to take this exact module that we've used here. Without that, I'm going to copy it. Go back to our blog layout list. Go to the list layout. And I'm going to add that just like I did 
to the details view and save it. Now, if I refresh the page, you can see that I, I like this one once, and I need to like this one. So that's how we add the Facebook like button. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.